gosh, those are pretty. Whew. Okay, sidetracked. So the chickens moved in on their own. We had the two little guineas in here and we had that house chicken, the one that's facing the wrong way. There's always that one. That's the chicken that's always, there's always that one. That's her. She's the one that we had in the house when she got hurt this spring. Anyway, um, they just moved in on their own. I have not had them in here. I guess that one on the far end was in here, pumpkin. But these are those guinea, those, uh, those, whoops. These are the chicks that we were, we had in the videos to give an update. This is that black rooster. That one is the one that I had in the house, the house chicken. That's the Easter agar rooster. That was the chipmunk chick. That's that little gray hen and that's that pumpkin colored hen that we were, is it a hen or a rooster? That's what they look like now. And uh, then the two red hens. So the weather's really cold. I noticed I'm gonna give them some vitamins in their water and uh, yeah, they like it so far in the new coop. Yesterday, I harvested the tomatoes. I still left these on. I was racing the weather yesterday, but um, pulled all these Beaver Lodge ones out. And uh, we're having some really bad weather. And so I'm just playing it safe and getting things out. But I'm working on pumpkins right now. And uh, Unfortunately, there's not a lot of ripe ones. I've only had a couple ripe, lots of ripe fully, but that's okay. We're winging it so far. We got a lot, a lot of pumpkins, and uh, they'll ripe. Bill, they'll turn in the greenhouse. I'm gonna put them in the greenhouse, but there's a lot of pumpkins still in there. So I'm gonna have, gonna get going on it. I grew them last year. I had the same issue where they didn't want to ripen or they didn't ripen up outside. Um, there's the fall that I got so far from those. Uh, there's four plants here and that's what I had gotten off of those four plants plus the two butternut squash from over there. But um, that jack of all trades, they ripened up very well in the greenhouse. Um, as long as they have, they started to turn they will turn all the way. And then the other ones I'm just gonna put in the greenhouse to let them turn and use that as animal feed for the chickens because the pumpkin seeds are a really good dewormer, natural dewormer, and uh, they're good for chickens and horses as well. So I'm gonna do that. And uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna get going. I just gotta show you this one. It looks like an apple, uh, as big as my head. <laughs> there's some big, there's big pumpkins in here, but anyway. I guess I should get to work before it starts raining. just from two jack of all trade plants. They have the lines. This one I think is actually a new England pie, pumpkin pie, pumpkin. Um, but the ones of the jack of all trades, they have the lines on them is how I can tell, but this little pile here, that's just from two plants. Um, I'd already harvested some off of those earlier that were orange. So <sighs> I'm trying to hustle because of the rain. Um, but I wanted to show you something. Um, in 
our zone, pumpkins very rarely get to full maturity um, unless you're hand pollinating them early, early in the season. And so I made a big mistake because a pumpkin like this will ripen, like it'll turn orange and it can be used if you cook it or use it in baking. If you don't break off the stem, um, you have to put it in a sunny location and it needs stem in order to actually fully mature. And I tossed it when I was like doing my thing. I threw it to make it easier because it's raining right now and I don't want to be out here in the rain and I broke it off. So this pumpkin will not turn, it'll just rot. So I'm gonna try it and see, maybe I can show you in a later video, but I'll probably just toss it to the chickens. They'll peck at it out of boredom more so, but um, it's starting to really rain, so I'm gonna just hustle and get this done. I'm cheating. <laughs> there uh, is pumpkin growing in the corn. I actually, there's a whole bunch over here. This is actually right in this area here. This is where my zucchini is and there's quite a few zucchinis on the plants. So I've kind of made the decision, I'm gonna pull all of the like I pretty well, I think there's one plant left here for the pumpkin, but I'm gonna pull that plant so I could get out, get it out of here. Um, so by doing so, I'm going to probably damage my squash plant. So the zucchini is gonna get pulled today too, which I'm not really that sad about. I'm not the only one. I actually seen someone in town running around their vehicle. One person was running with their keys and the other person was chasing them with a zucchini because it was a really good zucchini year up here for most people. So I'm not sad to see it go. Actually, I'm ready for it to go. So we'll get it done. You can see that hail damage from the other day, if you've seen that video. Um, look at how pretty that is. See that root? They will root in. I'm leaving that root on so they ripen up a little faster. I don't know if you can see that better. Kind of, I want to leave that on so they'll ripen up and not just rot. Let's see what else we can find here. you doing? Max, Sadie. So uh, I know a few people have asked me this a couple times so I thought I would just share because this is a really good example. Um, this little pumpkin here, this one will ripen and one that looks like this one won't and the reason for that is because this little pumpkin here, this green one, this one was one that was actually pollinated and this one here, it's not. It's a female, it's from a female flower and it didn't get pollinated. So what happened is it's, it's died off. See, it's squishy and stuff. So that's why it's yellow. Um, I just wanted, I know lots of you that are watching this, you already know, but there's been so many people that have asked me that about pumpkins and squashes, what's like as new time gardeners, 
and that's why um, these little ones mean that it didn't get pollinated as a female flower and it's not gonna grow. But this one here, this looks like a mini pumpkin. It looks healthy. Um, if, it, if it was going to be, have more time in the this, this summer, it would grow up to be a big, nice big pumpkin. So um, it's not squishy, it's firm. It's really, really hard. So this one will ripen as a mini pumpkin and I'll give it to my nephew or somebody for Halloween. Um, they could draw faces on it. What you doing? Hey, sweet boy. Hi. Hey, Tom Tom. Chaz got home and I just was looking him, watching him pack pails and I just noticed something under that tarp. <laughs> what are you doing, Tom Tom? He just sits there and it goes over top of him. <laughs> oh, he's trying to attack it. My animals are weird. Tom Tom, what are you doing? I got the squash and pumpkins all harvested. Chaz doesn't hasn't seen this yet. He just got home from school. He's just going to school. This is Hannah. I'm gonna see what he says. Hey Chaz, can you come help me? Okay. Squash or how many pumpkins do you think we grew this year? Five. You think we grew five pumpkins? Five to ten. Okay, come see how many pumpkins we grew. <laughs> I think that's a little bit more than ten. <laughs> nah. They're not small either. Hold up the biggest one. I want to see how big it is compared to your head. <laughs> Huge. Huh. So nice to recruit help. Yes! manly wagon you got there. So I got a few in here and the boys are just loading the greenhouse up with more of the green ones. Is that it? Yeah. So, Jazz, how many are there? Five. Five? Oh. 30, 40. Boxes are flying out. Okay. So, there's a few. And then a couple in the house, right? Yep. Or in the garage. These are nice sized pumpkins. So, 
So one of the things that I would do differently is I would be more up on maintaining the plants. So if I would have been focused on not letting like small ones, like where's an example, like these guys, um, ones like this, this one's probably, yeah, this one's no good. This one's chicken food. So one like this one um, is starting to turn, but I would have probably cut the vines so that it wouldn't have produced more and just focused on growing the pumpkin. I also would have ma ma made sure that I did not um, have them sitting like sitting upright like this one, um, like the way that they're sitting. I would have made sure that they were laid on their side, even though it doesn't give the perfect pumpkin shape for carving, it will ripen faster because what happens is they put a root down in, like I'd shown you, I'm trying to find one. Like see this one here, it's turned. It had a root in the ground because it was laying on its side. And pretty much all of the pumpkins that had a root in the ground and they were laying on their side, they're turned and more mature. So that's one of the things that I would definitely have done. I just, I, I didn't really maintain them very well. And so that's why I have a lot of unripe pumpkins. And in order for me to have had a better pumpkin harvest, I probably should have maintained them. I would have got much less pumpkins, but I would have had mature pumpkins that were ripened on the vine, which is definitely more profitable, pref preferable. But regardless, I definitely am happy with the harvest. They will turn color and we will be having pumpkins. Um, we will be using lots for decorations and I have a lot of friends with kids that this is Halloween's a big deal for them still so um, They'll be able to decorate at home with pumpkins and do little little displays with pumpkins so I'm really excited to be able to do that and uh, Have some fun one two skip a few 99 100 One gazillion two gazillion three gazillion four gazillion <laughs> that didn't work either. Nope. One one thousand. Oh, one thousand. Whoa ho ho. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, ten. <laughs> Eighty-seven. Eighty-seven on this table. I think so. Did you get those ones? Oh no. Eighty-seven. Huh? 93 in the zucchini. And then there's two in the house. Yep, so 95. 95 pumpkins out of six plants. <laughs> wow. So you still stand by your five or 10? No. <laughs> the cafe LA's are starting to open and we're gonna be freezing tonight, which sucks. And they got some hail damage. Oh well. What do we do? Just happens, hey? Yep. I wanna see these sunflowers. I haven't really given much updates on our sunflowers. They didn't do very good because I wasn't watering them. There's some pretty ones. I was hoping to get seeds. So I had some seeds for the chickens and for the birds for the winter, for the bird feeders, but there really isn't many, so. Oh well. supposed to freeze tonight so I decided to take advantage of my beautiful glads while I had the chance. I don't very often get to actually cut flowers for myself but I did make a pretty arrangement today for a friend and I hope she enjoyed it because I don't think we're gonna have cut flowers for very much longer after tonight but I'm gonna enjoy these. So anyways, thanks for tuning in and uh, bye.